In this video, let's learn about the electroencephalogram. The encephalogram is the graphical recording of the electrical activities of the brain. In the electroencephalography is the study of the electrical activities of the brain. The electrical activity of the brain is much complicated when compared to that of a single nerve fiber or a neuron. That is due to the involvement of large number of neurons and synapses. A German psychiatrist named Hans Berger was the first person to analyze the EEG waves systematically and hence the EEG waves are referred as the Berger waves. Let's talk about the significance of the EEG. The EEG is useful in the diagnosis of neurological disorders and sleep disorders. And the pattern of the EEG is altered in the epilepsy which occurs due to the excessive discharge of impulses from the cerebral cortex. And the second one is the disorders of the midbrain those affecting the ascending reticular activating system and the third one is a subdural hematoma during which there is a collection of blood in the subdural space over the cerebral cortex the methods of recording EEG the electroencephalograph is the instrument that records the EEG and the electrodes are called as the scalp electrodes Those are from the instrument and they are placed over the unopened skull or over the brain after opening the skull or by piercing into the brain. And these electrodes are of two types, the unipolar and the bipolar. While using the bipolar electrodes, both of the terminals are placed in the different parts of the brain. And while using the unipolar, the active electrode is placed over the cortex and the indifferent electrode is kept in some part of the body that is away from the cortex. Now let's learn about the waves of the EEG. The electrical activity that is recorded by the EEG may have synchronized or the desynchronized waves. And the synchronized waves are the regular and invariant waves. Whereas the desynchronized waves are irregular and these are variant. In normal persons, the EEG have three frequency bands. Those are the alpha rhythm, beta rhythm, the delta rhythm. And in addition to these three types of waves, the EEG in children shows the theta waves. And now coming to the first rhythm that is the alpha rhythm. This picture indicates the waves of the electroencephalogram and this line indicates the time in seconds. The alpha rhythm consists of rhythmical waves which appear at a frequency of 8 to 12 waves per second. Now in this picture, this is the standard and the first frequency band is the alpha rhythm. So these are the alpha waves or the alpha rhythm. The alpha rhythm consists of the rhythmical waves which appear at a frequency of 8 to 12 waves per second. So the frequency is 8 to 12 waves per second. The standard is the 100 microvolts and these alpha waves have an amplitude of 50 microvolts. And the alpha waves are the synchronized waves. That means these waves are regular and invariant. The alpha waves are obtained in an inattentive brain or the mind as in drowsiness or light sleep or in narcosis and when the person is in closed eyes. The alpha waves can be abolished by the visual stimuli or by mental effort. So it is dimmest when the eyes are open. The waves of the alpha rhythm are mostly marked in the parato-occipital area and sometimes these waves appear in other areas also. And now let's talk about the alpha block. This is the alpha block. The alpha block is the replacement of synchronized alpha waves by the desynchronized and low voltage waves 
when the eyes are opened. So synchronized waves are replaced by desynchronized waves and by the low voltage waves when the eyes are opened. And the desynchronized waves do not have specific frequency and it occurs due to any form of the sensory stimuli or the mental concentration such as solving some mathematical problems and the desynchronization is the common term used for the replacement of the regular alpha waves with the irregular low voltage waves. So the alpha block is caused by the desynchronization and it is due to the loss of the synchronized activity in the neural elements that are responsible for the regular wave pattern. And now let's come to the beta rhythm or the beta waves. These are the beta waves in an EEG. The beta rhythm includes high frequency waves that is from 15 to 60 waves per second and the amplitude is very low that is from 5 to 10 microvolt and the beta waves are the desynchronized waves. The desynchronized meaning irregular and the variant. The beta rhythm is recorded during the mental activity or the mental tension or during the aerosol state. And these beta waves are not affected due to the opening of the eyes. So these are not affected. Due to higher mental activity or the peak of the performance, like the state of the conscious activity or the problem solving state and in fear, very high frequency of these waves that is 30 to 100 per second appear. So in a state like very conscious activity or in fear, the waves reach up to the 30 to 100 per second. And as these waves are very high in frequency, these are sometimes called as the gamma waves. It is a controversial topic. And the third type of rhythm is the delta rhythm that causes the delta waves. The delta rhythm includes waves with low frequency and high amplitude. So the frequency is very low and the amplitude is very high as you can see it here this is the amplitude and the frequency these waves have frequency like 1 to 5 per second and with an amplitude of 20 to 200 microvolts and these are common in early childhood during the waking hour and in adults it appears mostly during the sleep in the presence of the delta waves in the adults during condition other than sleep indicates the pathological processes in the brain such as a tumor, epilepsy, increased intracranial pressure and mental deficiency or the depression. These waves are not affected by opening of eyes. And now coming to the last waves, those are the theta waves. Those are present in the children. These waves are the theta waves. The theta waves are obtained generally in children below the age of 5 years. These waves are of low frequency and low voltage, that is the low amplitude. The frequency of theta waves is 4 to 8 per second and the amplitude is about 10 microvolts. So guys, this is all about the electroencephalogram. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.